thank you, Mr. Prime Minister of Canada, for making me feel so old. I keep mine in here for later. That's very kind. Queen Elizabeth II, who died on September 8, 2022, was the longest reigning monarch in British history and the world's oldest head of state. She was also a remarkable example of healthy longevity, living over 30 years longer than the average life expectancy for women born in the same year as her. How did she manage to stay so fit and active until her final year? What were her secrets to conquering aging and maintaining her vitality? In this video, we will delve into the habits and factors that played a role in the Queen's remarkable longevity. Additionally, we will unveil the top 5 breakfast foods that she used to enjoy daily. Queen Elizabeth Bailly was born on April 21, 1926 in London, England. She was the firstborn of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth and the granddaughter of King George V and Queen Mary. Upon her father's ascension following King Edward VIII's abdication in 1936, she became the heir presumptive to the throne. In 1947, she tied the knot with Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and they had four children, Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward. Following her father's death, she became the queen on February 6, 1952. Holding the record as the longest reigning monarch in British history and the world's oldest head of state, she marked significant milestones with her Silver Jubilee in 1977, Golden Jubilee in 2002, Diamond Jubilee in 2012, and Platinum Jubilee in 2022. Sadly, on September 8, 2022, she passed away at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. During her 70 years of reign, she gained legendary status for her unwavering commitment, grace, and loyalty to her people. Moreover, she had a deep love for animals and devoted herself to caring for numerous dogs, particularly gorgeous. Throughout her life, she graciously welcomed over 30 gorgeous into her residence, earning them the title of royal dogs. Up until last year, Britain's Queen Elizabeth was the picture of healthy longevity. She not only enjoyed an extremely long and active life, but made it to 96 without being afflicted by cancer, dementia, or other health issues that can come with aging. Queen Elizabeth was a life well lived, King Charles III said in an address to the nation after his mother's death on September 8. The Queen undoubtedly enjoyed decades of privilege, with access to personal chefs and servants to cater to her every need, as well as top notch health care and luxurious residences to unwind in. However, these are not the defining factors of her longevity. So let's delve into the secret behind her remarkable age. Her first secret is good genes. The queen was blessed with good genes that helped her live longer than most people. Her mother, Queen Elizabeth, the queen mother, lived to be 101 years old, while her father died at 56 due to lung cancer caused by heavy smoking. But genes are only part of the picture, said Andrew Steele, a British scientist and author of the book, Ageless the new science of getting older without getting old. For most of us, how long we live is probably less than 20% down to our genetics, meaning the other 80% is down to lifestyle and luck," Steele told today. Luck we obviously can't do much about, but there's a lot of lifestyle advice that can add years to our lives, and Queen Elizabeth's habits probably contributed to her record-breaking stint on the throne. Her second secret is exercise. The Queen lived a lifestyle that was all about longevity and wellness. She kept active by taking walks, horseback riding, hiking around her estates, and even driving her own car until she was 95 years old. Researchers from the University of Sydney and the University of Southern Denmark found that walking 10,000 steps a day is the perfect recipe for reducing the risk of disease and death. They also discovered that picking up the pace with a brisk power walk can result in even greater benefits. Her third secret is a sense of purpose in life. Queen Elizabeth's life was centered around duty and service to her nation. The Queen never retired, but kept working into her old age. She loved her job, author Tina Brown wrote in the New York Times. So much so that just two days before her death, the monarch met with and appointed Liz Truss as Britain's new Prime Minister, beaming in photos even as she looked frail and infirm. A growing body of research suggests having a strong sense of purpose in life improves physical and mental health and enhances overall quality of life. The authors of a study published in 2019 in GAMA wrote. When they followed 7,000 adults, they found those who scored higher on a questionnaire 
designed to measure purpose in life, were less likely to die during the study period. Volunteering was one way people could improve their purpose in life, the study noted. Her fourth secret is strong social connections. For 73 years, Queen Elizabeth shared her life with Prince Philip, her husband and partner. She also had a close relationship with her four children and their families, who supported her in her role as the monarch. Her daily life was full of meetings and interactions with people from all walks of life, from advisors and politicians to visiting dignitaries and cultural icons. She never stopped serving her country and her people until her death. Her social connections may have been one of the factors that contributed to her longevity. Research has shown that loneliness is a risk factor for all-cause mortality, as it affects human biology in negative ways. U.S. Surgeon General Vivek Murthy explained that loneliness puts us in a chronic stress state, which increases inflammation and elevates our risk of cardiovascular disease and other illnesses. On the other hand, being connected and having strong social relationships decreases the risk of premature death, according to a meta-analysis of studies. Social connections can provide us with emotional support, practical help, and a sense of belonging and purpose. They can also enhance our well-being and resilience in times of stress. Her fifth secret is diet. The Queen wasn't a real foodie, and I soon learned that she eats to live, she doesn't live to eat. The Queen was not a foodie, according to Darren McGrady, her chef from 1982 to 1993, and she is thought to have eaten simple meals. When dining alone, she was very disciplined and would often have low-carb meals, McGrady said, but she enjoyed treats and alcohol too. One of the most important meals of the day for the Queen was breakfast. According to royal biographer Katie Nichol, the Queen had a strict morning routine that involved several courses of breakfast every day. She believed that breakfast was the most important meal of the day and that it gave her the energy and nutrients she needed to face the challenges ahead. Here is top 5 foods she eat daily to maintain her health. Top 1 is Earl Grey Tea. The Queen started her day with a cup of hot Earl Grey tea with milk but no sugar and bone china with a few biscuits. Earl Grey tea is a delicious blend of black tea and bergamot citrus extract that packs a punch of antioxidants, amino acids, and other goodies that can work wonders for your mood, digestion, cholesterol, blood pressure, and blood sugar levels. Some studies have even suggested that sipping on Earl Grey tea can help reduce the risk of depression and dementia. Plus, with its natural caffeine content, it's the perfect pick-me-up to give you that extra boost of energy and alertness. Just remember, too much of a good thing can be bad so try not to go overboard with more than three cups a day. So it's a very good thing to start your day off right with a cup of Earl Grey tea and bask in its calming and invigorating effects on your mind and body. If you're a fan of this royal tea of the queen, feel free to leave a comment below and share your thoughts on its health benefits with others. Top 2 is Special K Cereal The queen then had a bowl of Special K Cereal, which is a low-fat, high-fiber cereal made from rice and wheat. Special K cereal can help lower cholesterol, regulate blood sugar, and promote digestive health. A study by O'Neill et al. in 2014 found that breakfast consumption, particularly ready-to-eat cereal, was associated with lower body mass index, better nutrient intake, and lower risk of chronic diseases among adults in the United States. Top 3 is Fruit Reportedly, she enjoys having fruits with her cereal particularly special case cereal and seasonal fruits. She has a preference for fresh fruits like bananas, grapes, and peaches, which are rich in vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals that can boost immunity, prevent infections, and fight aging. Fruits are a powerhouse of essential nutrients, including vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and fiber that can provide a range of health benefits. Bananas, for instance, are rich in potassium and magnesium that can support muscle and heart health. Grapes contain resveratrol, a compound known for its anti-aging and anti-inflammatory properties. Peaches are high in vitamin C that can protect your skin from sun damage and promote collagen production. Several scientific studies have highlighted the positive effects of consuming fruits in the morning. For instance, a study by O'Neill et al. in 2012 found that having fruits for breakfast was associated with better diet quality and lower body weight in adults. Another study by Meraki et al in 2013 suggested that eating more fruits, particularly bananas, grapes, and apples, could lower the risk of type 2 diabetes. A third study by Wang et al. in 2014 indicated that consuming peaches and plums could inhibit breast cancer cells due to their high polyphenol content.
Top four is toast and marmalade. Sometimes, the queen also had toast and marmalade, which is a type of jam made from citrus fruits like oranges or lemons. Marmalade is a good source of vitamin C, which is essential for maintaining healthy skin, bones, and blood vessels. It also contains antioxidants that help protect the body from damage caused by free radicals. Toast on the other hand, good source of carbohydrates that provide energy to the body. A study published in the Journal of Nutrition found that consuming whole grain toast in the morning can help reduce the risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Another study published in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition found that consuming marmalade can help improve cognitive function and reduce inflammation. Top 5 is eggs. Occasionally, the queen also had eggs for breakfast, either boiled or scrambled with smoked salmon. Eggs are a fantastic protein source that can aid in the building and repairing of muscles and tissues. They also contain choline, an essential nutrient for brain function and memory. These incredible orbs are loaded with an impressive array of vitamins and minerals like vitamin A, folate, vitamin B12, and phosphorus. Moreover, eating eggs can increase HDL levels, also known as the good cholesterol, which can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and other health problems. According to a study published in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition, consuming eggs for breakfast can improve cognitive function and decrease inflammation. In conclusion, Queen Elizabeth II was an exceptional individual who led an extraordinary life. Throughout more than six decades, she symbolized stability and continuity as the Queen of the United Kingdom and other Commonwealth realms. Despite her royal status, she had her own personal preferences and routines, particularly when it came to food. Her secret to aging gracefully and maintaining vitality was a simple yet effective one, breakfast. Recognizing breakfast as the most crucial meal, she believed it provided her with the necessary energy and nutrients to tackle the challenges ahead. By embracing her example, we can enhance our own health and well-being, potentially leading to longer and happier lives. And that's today's video. Don't hesitate to give your opinion in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you find our video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others.